We all know that one person who just gets eaten alive by mosquitoes. Maybe it's you. I'm one of them. But now we're learning more about why. A new study says it could have everything to do with how you smell. CNN's Tom Foreman is here to explain. I, I know there are a lot of people wondering why they're a mosquito magnet. Tom? So, of course, this is understand. really exciting research out of Rockefeller University up in New York where they do a lot of great work on this. What they have found is that skin odor has a definite attractiveness to mosquitoes in some people. How definite? So much so that in some cases they say the people who attract the mosquitoes are 100 times more attractive than other people nearby in that circumstance. Now, what is it about skin odor that makes a difference? They put these uh, sleeves on people and then collected their skin odor and then tested them against mosquitoes. And they found that what it was was a type of fatty acid called carboxylic acids. What do carboxylic acids do? Carboxylic acids really, really draw mosquitoes. Only female mosquitoes, by the way. Male mosquitoes do not bite. And they give a slight odor, these acids, of cheese and feet, which doesn't sound that attractive to begin with. If, if the mosquitoes aren't bothering you, you might have another problem. But here's the thing, Anna. The mosquitoes, they even tried to say, what if we could somehow cut off the receptors on these mosquitoes so they couldn't really smell it as well? Didn't matter. They had backup systems. They still went after these people more than anybody else. So now the question is, can you come up with some sort of a blocking lotion or something that people could put over their skin that would suppress this so at very least these people are not more attractive to mosquitoes than anybody else and maybe you can get to where they're not so attractive big important deal because remember mosquitoes aside from just being a nuisance and being uncomfortable 700 million people per year suffer from mosquito-borne diseases like zika and dengue and malaria so this is big news it may seem funny in a way but in other ways could be really important Anna. Yeah, I'm laughing because I admitted at the beginning of the segment that yeah. I'm one of those people who gets bit all the time, and apparently I'm putting off an odor of cheese and feet. Well, I guess I, when you go to when you go to the beach next time, if you have I'm going to tell my husband to that we learned that it means you're extra toes. sweet yeah, and a, have a, a wonderful sense. Yes, yes, that would be a good <laughs> that would be a good play at this point. So anyway, exciting news, and hopefully next spring when we're all dealing with this, maybe we've made some more progress on figuring out if there's some way to stop this.